What is up guys and welcome to today's video where I'll be predicting Manchester United and Manchester City's FIFA 18 player rating prediction. So basically I'll be comparing those two clubs together which is basically what it says in the title. So without further ado, let's get straight into the ratings really. So the first three players I'm going to be talking about in Manchester United are Zlatan, Rashford and Pogba. Now let's start with Zlatan here. Now he's doing amazing for United here. He's scoring all the crucial goals and Manchester United really do need him. I think he's going to stay next season for United as well. Probably sign a new contract which is going to be pretty decent for United. And I think he's going to be staying at 90 because he is getting a bit old. So I think 90 is a good rating for him. Now moving on to Rashford, I have gave him... An upgrade now that is supposed to be 78 not 79 so that's a mistake there but I think he should be 78 just the one rating up because he hasn't done a lot this season you know like he hasn't really done as much as he could but I, I still think he deserves an upgrade because he's still a very decent player and then we got Pogba here I downgraded him by 1 to 87 rated now people could be angry over the over this decision but I think this is fair because you know he really hasn't performed up to his price point or he hasn't really done more for like if you say in FIFA's perspective like 88 he hasn't performed as good as what 88 rated players should be so I downgraded him by one I think that should be all right I think EA might do it as well but we're going to move on to the next three players which is going to be Mkhitaryan, Rooney and Juan Mata. Now we're going to be starting with Mkhitaryan here now he hasn't he hasn't um been really good or he hasn't been like used at the start of the season but now he's getting his game he's part of the crucial Manchester United squad as well he scored that pretty good scorpion kick as well which was apparently offside but it was still a pretty decent goal really so I just so I decided to put him up to 86 rated player which is not too bad and then we're going to move on to Rooney as well now he hasn't really done much once again this season it seems like his career is like kind of dying out now apparently he's going to move to Everton after this season so that's going to be pretty interesting hopefully he does that but I decided to downgrade him 1 from 84 to 83 Juan Mata I decided to stay him at um 84 he sometimes plays really good as well but it seems like I, I think that Mata should get used more but Mourinho is like not using him as much as he should but I guess that it's up to him really so I decided to stay him up at 84 rated now we're going to move on to the next three players who's going to be under Herrera Anthony Marshall and Fellaini now we're going to be starting with Herrera here now opinions may vary but I think Herrera he's a very crucial player of Manchester United's midfield I think I think um whenever Manchester United does well like Herrera is always there he's like doing a lot of things for Manchester United midfield basically so I decided to up his rating by 2 to 85 from 83 now moving on to Marshall here once again he's not getting used as much as he should or he's not performing as good as last season but um anyway um but since he hasn't really done much, I thought it would be fair enough just to stay him at 82 rated. And then we're going to move on to Fellaini as well. Now, I upgraded him to 78 from 78. I mean, 79 from 78. But the reason I did that, well, he's doing decent, like, lately. Like, last two games, he played pretty decent. Um, But the rest of the season, like, other than that, he played pretty crap. So, I could imagine him staying at 78 or 77. It depends on how... It depends on his performance for the rest of the season. But we're going to move on to the next two plays. And this is going to be defenders. Now we're going to be starting with Chris Smalling here. 85 rated. Upgrading by 1. He's been pretty solid this season as well. He was pretty good last season. He's he's all around pretty decent defender. Same goes to Bailey. I decided to upgrade him by 1 as well from 82 rated. He really deserved that winter upgrade really. But um, anyway, I decided to give him an upgrade to 83 which is pretty decent and same goes to Valencia here now he already got a winter upgrade so he may not go up once again to 83 but I think 83 he'll be like he's kind of underrated like this season you know like he's been playing pretty decent but seems like not a lot of spotlight goes on him but I he may stay at 82 but it really depends I'm not too sure about that but we're gonna move on to the next three plays who is going to be Luke Shaw, De Gea and Lingard now we're gonna be starting with Shaw. He he hasn't been doing too well lately. Like, you know, he he's not he's not that good really lately. But I decided to stay him at 80 because I don't think he should get a down he should get a downgrade because he's already 80 rated player. But I don't think he should get an upgrade. So I I decided to stay him at 80 rated and the hair as well. I think he's gonna get upgrade to 91 and. 
maybe Neuer get. I'm not too sure about what Neuer would get. I have to like think about that perspective as well. But I do think the hair is going to get up to 91 because he's just he's just becoming like he is already like one of the world's best keepers and Lingard as well. Like he's doing decent. Like he's a very hardworking player. This I I decide to upgrade him to 80 from 77. Still, he doesn't really get used too much. So. I'm not sure, but I think 80 is a fair enough rating for him. And we're going to move on to the Manchester City player rating predictions. Now, we're going to be starting with first three players. Once again, it's like the similar type of players, kind of, each slide. It may not be, it just sometimes varies, but we we got Aguero, Jesus, and Nolito here. Then we're going to be start, first starting with um, Aguero here, who I, down, who I downgraded him to 88 from 89. Now, the reason is that... Even even if like he did score some goals this season, like he's kind of inconsistent. You know, like he's been injured, he's been out for some, he's been like red card, that's why he's been like out for some games. I'm not too sure about Guerrero. I don't think he should be 89, but I don't think he should be less than 88. That's why I decided to play him at stay him at 88. And then we've got Gabriel Jesus as well. Now even though he did play really well. When he was on, unfortunately, he got injured and he's out for the rest of the season. I think it would be fair to just let him stay at 78. And if he does play good next season, then he might get upgraded for FIFA 18 because, you know, the FIFA 18 rating comes out after the season starts. So we'll see about that as well. Nolito, he's just not getting played much. Like, he, he, he wasn't a really good signing. He doesn't really even play much. He doesn't really... Too much for most of the games as well. That's why I decided to put him to 81 from 83. Now we're going to move on to the next three players as well. Who's going to be Kevin De Bruyne, David Silva, and Yaya Toure. Right now starting with De Bruyne here. Once again, this could be a questionable one. Some people could say, "Oh yeah, just stay him at 88." Or just bump him up to 89. I decided to bump him up to 89. But I'm not too sure. He could be like either one of those. But once again, he's just the key player of Manchester City. And we're going to move on to David Silva here. Um, I decided to stay him at 87. Because he still plays. He still performs really, really well. But I don't think he should really get an upgrade. Because he's kind of getting old here. But he definitely doesn't deserve a downgrade in my opinion. And Toure as well. Like He didn't really get used for the first half of the season. But then like once he comes on. like He's like starting to perform decently. I don't think he should get a downgrade, but once again, he probably wouldn't get an upgrade as well. That's why I decided to put him at 84 rated. And then the next three players are going to be Raheem Sterling, Sane, and Gindagan. Now we're going to be starting with um Sterling here. Now I, I'm pretty impressed by him. Now the first season he went to Manchester City, he didn't really perform that well, but now it seems like he's he's like kind of getting his game. You know, he's like playing decently. That's why I decided to bump him up to 84. Some people may disagree. Some people may say, oh yeah, just put him at 83 or 82. In my opinion, I think he deserves to go in 84. And then Leroy Sané as well. Like this morning against um England versus Germany. I think he Sané played really well. I think he's going to be one of the starting lineups for Germany for the coming years for the German um international squad. Because Sané, I think he's really good. He's got a lot of potential as well. That's why I put him up to 82. And then Gindogan, um, I decided to stay him at 85 because unfortunately he got injured once again out of out, out for the season. But when he did come on, he he really played some um, promising football. That's why I don't think he should get downgraded. But once again, shouldn't get upgraded. This kind of situations like happen a lot, sure. But we're gonna move on to the next three players, who's going to be Company, Otamendi, and John Stones. Starting with Company here, once again, some people could be mad about this, but I decided to downgrade him to 84 basically because he's just not playing enough game for an 86 rated player like to be an 86 86 rated player in my opinion he should really like come on a lot and then you know like keep up that performance but obviously I, I know that company is a really good defender and Belgium and Man City really desperately needs him but since he doesn't really play how can I possibly just stay him at 86 that's why I bumped him down to 84 he could be on 85 as well ultimately I decided to stay him at 85 which is pretty decent John Stones I'm not too sure about John Stones he's not been too good this season really like he's been kind of dodgy and I'm just, I, I just don't know about him. That's why I decided to stay him at 80, 78. But he could get bumped up to 79 or 80. Depends on what EA does. But in my opinion, I think he should stay at 78. And maybe in coming years, he can imp improve his game. And then maybe bump up his rating. And then we are going to move on to the next two plays. Which is going to be pretty interesting. Because um, 
this is the main concern of Manchester City at the moment, Bravo. First of all, let's talk about ratings. So Bravo, I think it's going to get downgraded to 81 from 80, 83 right now, which was already a winter downgrade, but I think it's going to get downgraded again to 81 in my opinion. He could be on 82, but he's just playing he's just playing really really bad this season like who would have known the winner of like champion or well winner of the league like in Barcelona and stuff like he played so promising for Barcelona and he moves to Manchester City and then he just kind of doesn't perform well and then Caballero I think he's gonna get upgraded to 80 from 78 when he comes on he shows some promising goalkeeping as well but I do think Manchester City is going to get a new keeper Joe Hart is definitely not coming back he's gonna Probably go to some other EPL clubs in my opinion, but Manchester City apparently is trying to sign Donnarumma. In my opinion, that's not going to happen. He's just too young. He's not, he's not going to try to take the pressure of being like an expensive goalkeeper because if he does move, the fee is going to be really, really high. But he's just still a really young player, so I don't think he's going to move. AC Milan just never going to let him go. And then also, Manchester City is also connected with Edison from um, Esel Benfica now I think that is more of a realistic transfer for Manchester City that could happen but I'm not too sure as well but anyways guys this will be it for today's video if you have enjoyed it please hit the like button subscribe and goodbye